Are you personally taking any action to increase your professional network or are you sitting in your comfortable little bubble? Especially if you're early in your career, you need to be pushing the envelope and trying to network with as many people as you can because it's been shown time and time again, the engineers and technical professionals with the best network can routinely get the most done and bubble up to the top of the technical ranks in their organization. That seems like a pretty damn good reason for you to start taking some action and growing your professional network. It could be an internal professional network inside your large company if you're working in a large company. There's lots of networking opportunities there in terms of meeting new groups, finding a new spot you wanna go try a different group. There's all sorts of opportunities there and it's quite easy to network if you just show some gratitude when people ask you things or if you're asking people things. It's very easy. So I ask someone, hey, I really need this urgently. And when they help me, I make sure that their manager and the people around them hear that this person helped me when we were in pinch. They really helped this program out. That's great. And that's something where that person was going to take my call next time because I said thank you. So if you don't expand your professional network, it's stagnating. Very similar to my recent goal setting video, a majority of what I'm going to talk about in this video is that if you're not pushing the envelope and growing your network, you are being stagnant. And that's not what you want in your professional career. This also applies to your social network outside of work as well. Now, that doesn't have the same sort of implications of, oh, you must be pushing harder and harder, but maybe it should. Do you wanna have the same people, the same five people around you for the next 40 or 50 years? Do you wanna up your game with your personal social network as well? Something to consider. So what's keeping you in your little bubble with your current professional network? Is it something where you have social anxiety, where you don't wanna go reach out to people because you think they're gonna find you weird? Well, I think it's more that you're being weird and not reaching out to people because you don't have to overthink little reach outs like this. And again, when it comes down to it, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you when it comes time for promotions and raises. So perhaps you should start doing some better networking up your management chain so those people start to know you. Because when the thing comes across their desk for the promotion or the raise package for you, are they gonna know who you are? Because if they don't, they're probably gonna pick the person that they do know over you. And that's just unfortunately the nature of how things work. So I'm not trying to come here and kibitz about this is the way nature works and I hate it. No, I'm trying to help you optimize your position. I'm an engineer after all. All I have is the tools available to me and I'm trying to give you better tools to try to better facilitate the career that you want. So if you want to sit and stagnate in your professional little bubble, I'm trying to show you that there are alternatives available to you and you just need to be paying better attention and having your eyes open. In terms of paying attention, you should join the Social Engineer Network Discord at the link below. In there, you're gonna find a bunch of like-minded engineers and technical professionals that are all pushing themselves to be better at networking and emotional and social intelligence. So what's holding you back from pushing the boundaries of your professional network and really making some contacts that are gonna help you for decades down the track. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna go make new contacts or are you going to sit there stagnant? Completely up to you. Professional networking is one of the core topics in social intelligence. There's a whole bunch more at this playlist up here. Or if you're ready to get back to IQ or technical topics, you can get started on that playlist right down here. Or you can keep doing exactly what you're doing, but you're gonna get exactly the same results you've been getting.